Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the 31 Days of Horror. It is day 11 in DBG86 back up in this. That's right. We got 20 more days left till Halloween, guys. It's fucking crazy, right? It is. <laughs> but anyways, uh, as you know, I did a review from this box set the other yesterday. Uh, I did uh, this movie right here, Winter Beast. Uh, which is classic material. So I decided to check out another movie from that Homegrown's Horror Volume 1 box set from Vinegar Syndrome. This one comes from 1989, I believe. Uh, and it's Beyond Dream's Door, which is a film that, uh, like I said, I didn't really hear about... Well, I heard of Winter Beast before. Uh, that's when I heard from the upscales of friends of mine for years i never heard of beyond dreams door before it never reached my area per se or no one mentioned it in a few of the groups that i've been around in but uh yeah it's a film from ohio which is kind of interesting it was made in columbus uh very low budget film uh the director of this film is uh what is your name Jay Wolf, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I probably butcher the fuck out of it, but uh, yeah. Uh, Beyond Dreams Door is about this main character Ben, who's kind of writing out these weird visions that he's been having, and involve monsters and sick children and death, and he ends up like he goes like the psychosis school part department and the psychosis studies of his school and he gives like one of the teachers one of the dreams that he wrote out that he had uh later on this teacher ends up disappearing uh he we see him brutally murdered by a monster in one of ben's like visions and pretty much that's what ends up happening is these creatures are actually that ben was dreaming about are actually coming into the real world due to his uh, psychosis not being stable and not also dreaming. It's kind of like a weird psychological creature feature in a way where these things are embodying themselves through his uh, dreams and not actually dreaming them per se. It, it's a weird thing to talk about when you're listening to me talk about it, but that, that's pretty much the gist of what's going on within the plot of the movie. Uh, I know it's like, what the fuck, <laughs> you know, but, uh, it's kind of like the same, it has similar veins and beats of Nightmare on Elm Street, but it's done a little bit differently, which I respect. Uh, movies were actually made side by side to each other, so they, it wasn't one of them copying each other off. It's just, this one came out a little bit later because it was made cheaper and, you know, that makes sense in that sense. But, uh. Yeah, I, I dug this movie a lot. This was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I love, like, uh, the Lovecraftian feel that the movie has. With, like, its cosmic horror elements that were within it. I dig that about this film a lot. I, you know, I even like the characters, you know. Some of the performances are actually better than I thought they were going to be in the movie. Uh, especially after watching Winter Beast, you know. But uh, that's a totally different experience. I, I love Winter Beast. Uh, I dug this one too for it being actually kind of well made for the aesthetical choices of its production. It's a very ambitious type of movie for that. Uh, it has some great, great nightmare logic scenes within it that I dig. It has a lot of like things that I look, I you know, I dig movies with nightmare logic stuff going on within them already. Uh, like I could double feature this with probably like the Incubus any day of the week and it would be the greatest double feature ever. But, uh, yeah, I dug it. And, you know, I even love the score of this film. It, it it was weird because the main theme of this movie, the first time I heard it when I was watching it, I'm like, why does this sound like the Puppet Master theme? You know, it, it kind of does sound like a, like a low-tempo version of the Puppet Master theme in a way. But, uh, yeah, the creature looks fucking great in this. They use all practical effects. Uh, there's even, like, you know, it's it's weird watching this because there's even a scene that involves like a red balloon. I'm like, 
this, the new It movie you steal from this movie. <laughs> you know, that's what I was thinking. Uh, you, there's like a scene that involves a red balloon in this. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself. Even like the TV miniseries, it didn't do that yet. Because this came out before that. I'm like. I see what you did there. Yeah. You guys stole from this movie. Yeah, I see what you did there, there, motherfuckers. Well, I don't know if that actually happens in the book either. I know that that came out during the same same time period, but you know what I mean. It was kind of weird and odd to see the, like a red balloon in another movie when you know it was. Those were very in those it movies, you know. But uh, I dug this also for another reason. Uh, it, it, you know. I forgot to mention, like, there's another, like, there's a book of monster, there's a book monster, kind of, like, pre-Harry Potter, so I'm, like, thinking to myself, did J.K. Rowling see this fucking movie, <laughs> you know, I'm, like, because, you know, there, there's a book monster thing, and, like, I think it was either Harry Potter 2 or 3, it was one of those sequels, but, uh, yeah, there's, I can't recommend this enough, this set hasn't failed me yet, uh, there's still one more movie, so you know what that means. It could either be fucking amazing, or it could also be bad. And the thing about the next, the last movie in this set is, it's almost two hours long, and it's a supernatural slasher, so a low budget one at that. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that one yet, but I'm gonna check it out eventually. Maybe I'll review it during here. Uh, just not anytime soon. Maybe, uh, yeah, actually, maybe I will review it. Fuck it. Spoiler alert, fatal exams coming next, the day after this review. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review of Beyond Dreams Door. And definitely check it out. I'm not, I'm not too sure if this one got a second release yet. Like Witcher Beast did, or not. I didn't double check that, but you can still get the box set. It's still on the Vinegar Syndrome site. And I do recommend this box set. It's one of the better box sets that Vinegar Syndrome put out in a while. And I love their box sets. They've just been putting out interesting things. And, you know, I dig that about this company a lot. So, yeah. Fatal exam tomorrow. And we'll be back after that. So I'll see you then, peeps. Peace out.